Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are back with another really exciting auction haul. Um, I'm not going to name names because quite frankly, when I went to pick this up, I literally had to meet some random person that apparently was from the auction house in a Wendy's parking lot with their trunk open <laughs> waiting for me with the stuff. I did pay for it. Um, I don't know where they got it from, but I paid for it. Um, we're going to um, unbox it all. There's five boxes here. Richard's off to the side. Do you want to say hello at least? <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm not clarify. It was a legitimate auction. <laughs> I, I, y'all know I'm joking. It's not. I'm not. I'm joking. I'm joking. It better have been because they... Kind of joking. <laughs> <laughs> So they were questionable things. There were, but we won't. Business practices. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it and see what we got. All right, I literally don't know what anything is. It's all going to be a surprise. Everything was packed. Ooh. Victorian milk glass shaker, a single. These are quite collectible, especially in the blue. I do know that they have green, which makes me want to pick up some of the green. Ooh. Richard's helping here off screen by unpacking things. Is this marked? Many ribs. It's marked. Whoa. Oh, here we go with the camera again. It's marked many ribs, but it's this little column like swung vase. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love that one. I have no idea. We're... It looks like it could be a Northwood. This is just a single shaker in a cobalt. I love the color. I have to say it's a really pretty color. Having like a bunch of these as like your spice rack, I think that would be quite exciting. Bright, colorful. You're gonna know. No, give me that. <laughs> You're gonna know a theme in today's uh, sale. In today's auction hall, this is a gorgeous Northwood. Look at that. With that opalescence on there, that drapery effect to it. Look at the clarity in that. This is called Pulled Loop. There's these little vinyl stickers. I've never seen that before. Look close, you might not see it again. <laughs> smarty, smarty, isn't that pretty? <gasps> Look at that opalescent effect to it, love that. Now we do have another um, Northwood piece. This is a little bit more classic. This says opal open. There's in the old house. Isn't that cute? Now there is some glass burrs. However, we do have the pass through, which is what we want to see on those pieces. Love that. You're killing me. Love it. We're killing him, he says. That's because we've got another beautiful blue antique swung base. Look at that with a great art deco. On that, that's lovely. Ooh. We'll call this video, I've got a case of the blues. How about that? This, I think they just they kind of mix everything in together. I don't know that, like it's a lot. Yeah, because these are two, these are two separate. Um, we have another shaker and that gorgeous blue milk glass. Again, more than likely, probably 20s, 30s, though it could have been a little bit earlier because of the glass they used. That one's definitely been used. Oh, I did get one. I want to start a collection of these. So that you're keeping. <laughs> it's one small <laughs> little tiny thing. Look at that color. I know. It's green milk glass. I love it. Look at that. It's almost got like a Cosmo pattern to it. I think it could be. Though I really always thought, I've only ever seen the Cosmo with white with that painted, which is not my favorite. But I love it in the green. Isn't that a pretty color? 
Oh, we've got its mate. So we saw this one earlier. It's not just a single shaker. We did get this set. Now, one's a little bit lighter, more of a true Tiffany blue. This one's got more of like a robin egg blue to it. Excuse the numbers. I'm sure that the auction house, it was some way for them to identify things. Um, we've got a pattern mate to our green one. This one is in a blue. Those look great together. <laughs> I love this green shade. It's my vibe. Hmm, interesting. This one almost looks like it's a Cambridge glass. I could be wrong on that one. That press, the molded glass with that blue ombre to it. That one's really pretty. That one's been used. Ooh. I'm just saying, you pick a piece, I pick a piece, we sell a piece. <laughs> and we have nothing left. That's fantastic. Again, same pattern, complementary colors to it. I do think they're Cambridge. I really could be wrong. Oh, Richard really likes this one. I'll let you keep this one. Because you want it? <laughs> no, I don't. Look at that. That's a, that is some weight on that one. Like, oh. Oh. Yeah. I thought the whole, the whole metal does not come off just the tip. But it is painted, or enameled, I should say, on all four sides. That's a really pretty. Imagine that with some baby's breath, that just something cute and simple. I like that. So I did get a lot of shakers because, um, you know, as a reseller, clearly, I couldn't afford a lot of it. And if you can, I mean, just imagine this. If this is the stuff that I could get on a reseller budget, imagine the stuff that they were selling. I mean, they had Tiffany. They had Quanzel. Look at this. Just simple, cute French opalescent, clear with a white opalescent, a jack and pulpit. Love it. I don't want to pack, I don't want to unpack any more of the big pieces. This one's gorgeous. Look at that pattern at the bottom. Northwood. Ooh. Now you had one of these and you sold it. Remember that? You gave it up because you were like, no, I don't need these. I only had one. And that was one you fought over. And it stuck out. And I know. Because you, I only had one. But look, I could have four. And you only got that because of the kind of Misty. And then he sold it. The kindness of Misty. Okay. I need to replace it. Uh-huh. Oh, look. Look at that lattice work on that. I love these antique patterns. There is just nothing like that. I'm sorry, and I'm going to say it. It's called oval and thumbprint. Um, I'm saying it. Mid-century has got some good patterns, but they do not be the antique patterns. I'm smiling because... He's a bitch. torture. Look at that one. I mean, look at the color. They're not all identical colors, right? Each one a little bit different. I mean, they're all common, but they're not identical. Let's contrast it with this one. What? Love it. Look at that. That one's a little bit more slender. Like, it doesn't open up. It's more almost like a column, column shape to it. Um, I don't think we're done with the vases yet, though. <laughs> Keeping my eye on you. Oh. Uh, ooh. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, goodness. That's glorious. Spiral, spiral, spiral. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I did get a black light to see if anything glowed. The only thing that glows with is our green milk glass. Victorian milk glass. Okay. This is a little bit more of a, wow, that's, that's cut. Mm -hmm. That sharp cut. The rose. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, I can tell. This one. <laughs> <laughs> it is cut. So you can feel those cuts on it. That's I got a to it. Maybe. I don't know. I got, there was a lot of stuff that I got in lots. I have found the lots are, oh yeah. This is part of a bigger set. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? A little tumbler with the enamel on it. Love those colors. I mean, this, you could use this in kind of like a mid-century home if you wanted. You do have a matching tumbler to go with it. You do have the Bulacante on there. I'm trying to hide my face so you can see the glass a little bit better. Hey. You're slapping the job over here. We do have a little cruet. It does have a satin glass effect to it. Ouch. That's pretty damaged. See it there in the neck. It's the only thing about buying stuff online. You can sell that one. Okay. So we do have the, the pitcher. That goes with our two tumble. I think I only. Ooh, there's dead things in that. And this one over here. Oh, there's dead things in that too. So we have that. Oh, I think that one is so cute. So we do have those. Kind of like an art glass victory cup here in clear glass. That's some old glass. I don't know if you guys can see the rippling that's occurring in there. That's, it's sassy. With your hand on your hip and you dip, I dip, we dip. What? I like it. I think it's cute. It has a ribbing pattern. Oh, look at right here. Oh, yeah. Do you see the, these are ribs. Oh, yeah. It's molded that way. But look at, you see the glass? A little character to it. I like that. It's clearly been hand applied. Oh, this is. Oh, it's Pear Point. They had other Pear Point there that was, you know, it was in the red with the silver plate, and the silver plate was like polished in an inch of its life. I mean, full. And it was going for thousands of dollars. So uh, we did get a piece of pear point <laughs> in the auction. Um, just a little, it's a clear glass molded. It's actually kind of cute. A little bucket, quite literally, a little bucket with the wood grain. Here's your mate. This is not cheap. That color is gorgeous. Look at that color. Like a smoke. Yeah. Cut very oyster shell. It does have a very smooth polished bottom on there. Great weight. Fantastic color. I see no inclusions in the glass. It's simple, but I really like this. It's giving me a little bit of like alien vibes to it though. I'm not gonna lie. This is the mate to our creamer, so another piece of cut glass with the rose pattern. We've got our two-handled sugar to go with, of course, our creamer. I think those are beautiful. Um, I did get this simply because, well, it was part of the lot. Um, you don't love this? I didn't expect it. <laughs> It's a lamp. The cord came out behind it. I mean, with the right shade, 
It could be a beautiful piece. It really truly could be. With that clear glass, ooh, I would love to see a prism shade on here. If we're gonna do it, let's just do it. Let's just take it all of the way. Vintage. Though I will say, whoever did, that's a nice cord. Mm -hmm. It's in great shape. That's a cloth covered cord. It is an older plug. <laughs> this is new. This piece is new though. See, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool though. At least we know the work was done. And they, well, I wonder if that's all, that's all new wire. They did it in the old cloth wire. That stuff is expensive. Somebody did it right. <laughs> that stuff is expensive. And they used that cream color to go with it. You see how they molded the glass for the... Yeah, so you can put it... So these, these divots, it can go this way. There's two divots. Right here is a divot. Where's the other one? Right there is the other one. Yeah, that's the other divot. So the cord can let it pull light. <clears throat> he laughed at this. Um, this is fantastic, though. It's a molded milk glass Easter plate with a psycho bunny eating his four-leaf clovers. It says Easter something or other. But the thing that's hilarious about it, I don't know if you can tell, but it's concave. So it, it looks a little roadkillish, this poor bunny. Whoa, where am I at? Poor bunny. Um, ooh, it's LG Wright. The three fa faces. A little sherbet bowl. This would be good for some... I think I might keep this one. For tiny treasures. You see the faces on it? One, two, three. A variety of different serving pieces in that. Um, again, this came with a lot. Clear glass candlestick. I'm not... Oh, it's got a lid! Yeah, it got even better. Not a sherbet. It's the miniature pedestal. Yay! And then the three faces are right on top. The only thing that I've ever kept of this was the toothpick holder, which for some reason the toothpick holder... Because a lot of these pieces are very large, so I typically didn't hang on to them, but this is the right size. And again, there's your three faces. Really cute. I think I'm going to have to change my position because the light... You guys are just going to go right along with the light. You're going to see the curtain. I'm not getting you. Oh, the man of mystery. Little peach blow. This is going to glow. I can tell right now. With that custardy. Are you going to make a liar out of me? No. So yes, that one does glow. Gorgeous custard with the peach. Shiny, shiny. That one's fun. George? Is that Truman? What's who's from 1914? Does anybody know? You see the date up there, the little glass tumbler, 1914. One is Teddy. No, that's not one. We've got the leaf pattern at the top. Google. Google. Yeah, don't cheat. Don't Google it and then put it in the call notes. You have to know it. Not that I'll ever know it. So we've got a lid. Truman? Did you say that? Capote? No. Didn't he have that thing? I don't know. I'm totally guessing. I'm not even going to hazard a guess on it. Ooh, that one really glows when you actually shine it. When did the Titanic sink? I don't know, 1912. Misty says it all the time. Wasn't it 1914? I try not to pay attention a lot of the time. <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> I'm her best friend. 
Um, is this a tea diffuser? No, this is an insert for a hot thing. Or is this a tea? No, I think it's 1912. Well, I clearly, there's, I can't get it open. It's this piece. We've got this little porcelain piece. There must be more coming. I would assume. Because we got a oh. What is it? I have no idea. What did you buy? Hello, hello, baby. <laughs> the mysteries are real. I don't think so. Oh, no. I, no. But I don't know how. This could be an inkwell, and this could be the powder to shake it on. But how would you get the powder in there? Yeah, there's, there has to be. It looks very Hazel Atlas to me. I love that. Ooh. Very 20s, 30s on that one. Clear glass for the win. Stop. Love. It's all about these feet here, but I do love the ribbing on that one. That's great. Who says you can't love clear glass? Ooh, look at this flower frog. Or is this a muffineer? No, this is a flower frog. Look at that. Bulbous. It's like a peony bulb. Somebody sharpied it to death. We'll see if we can't get that off. Oh, we do have a chip right there. Thankfully, you actually can't. Well, I guess you can kind of see. My hands are so dried out, y'all. I don't want to show you my hands. <laughs> but... Okay. I like that one. Okay. I think this is turned templates. It is. No. Nintones. I'm not going to be that person that's going to pretend. We're not going to pause it. I'm just going to... I don't know this manufacturer. I think I got a piece of turn templates. I hope this isn't what I thought was the turn templates piece. It doesn't matter because I do think I love this colorway on this. It is absolutely... Look at that color. Some little faces there on the side. Grumpy face. Look at this one's really grumpy. Ah, my handle. But any old how. Isn't that beautiful? It just, the feel of it, you can tell it's a good piece. Not huge, but golly, it's beautiful. I love those colors on that. I'm running out of room. Okay, we've got some Fenton Agave Cactus. It is! Some chocolate glass. Agave. Shoot. These little tumblers. I mean, those are Victorians. Those crazy, crazy Victorians. This is what they were drinking out of. You know what I mean? Well, look at that. I had that blue milk glass one up there. So it is a little desk set. So the inserts are in there. A viewer kindly pointed that out to me because I thought, I don't know, there might be a top piece that goes on there. I believe this is Fenton Holly and Berry. Oh, it's got a green underbase. Bam. Hello, Carnival. I just, I don't know. I never was in for the carnival. That's gorgeous. Just look at that full screen, iridescent, carnival -y goodness. It's carnivalized. We love it. We're still a going. Ooh. This is solid. This is not true crackle glass. This is molded, but it's got a Ponsal mark. I don't know what's going on. Like, 
That's weird. It's almost got like a recycled glass feel to it. I will say the ruby red color is stunning. I like it. Let's go. Bavarian. Bav this is Bavarian. Heimlich. Heimlich. Henrik. <laughs> I make myself laugh. <laughs> that's a lot of gold. That's probably. Does it say that it's real gold on there? I couldn't imagine that wouldn't be. Yeah. It's what? 22? Yeah. I mean, look at that thing. It's a pastoral scene. You've got your shepherd out there. Lassie! Look at the pattern. Gorgeous. That that's pretty. Okay. This looks like it could be blank blanco. Could be wrong on that one. Look at it. I'm not pretty. Do we get a glow on our yellow? Boop. Sure do. Orangey. Tang goodness. There it is. Orangey goodness. Orange glad. Love it. So we did get some mid-century. Let's do the plate. Um, do, whew. Me. Blah, 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 blah. Opaque China. W and C. It's got like a stag. Clearly there's a heavy crazing to it. Little pussy. Cherubs. There is a chip up here. Uh, no, we can't see it from the front. Ooh. Little booty. Italiano cherub. Hey, don't try to get slick. Where's that? What? Oh, the booze. Yep, this is turned templates. Garbage. Made in Austria. She's a stunner, that is for sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, sorry guys. There's our mark. Turn templates. Keeping in mind, turn templates wasn't an actual artisan studio. They were the importers to a lot of Austrian pottery. You're scaring me. You're getting carried away over there. Um, look at that pattern. Oh, she's gorgeous. I quit wasting your time on that one. Look at just the handles on it. So organic. But yeah, Turn Template, again, Turn Templates was an importer of a variety of different artisans from Austria. Now, here is the thing, and this is what makes them so collectible, is because clearly Turn Templates had they didn't work with just anybody. They weren't just importing any old thing. It had to be of quality. Now they did do, that might be the other one, yeah. So that is, that was a really, and the pottery, it was mostly glass. Yeah. It was mostly glass that people went for. So the pottery stuff went super cheap. Now you may or may not know who our next characters are. They are bookends, Oof, these are heavy. or door stops. It is Punch and Judy. Hey, boys and girls. I'll punch him, don't you worry. No, you won't, Judy. I'm the big size now. No, you're not. Aren't they glorious? Punch and Judy door stops. They definitely could stop a door, that is for sure. 
I mean, they are creepy. That's <laughs> exactly what I had to get them. All right. We're round in the corner. We're round in the corner. It's a good thing because we're running out of space. So, you got it? Um, oh, this is Stangle? Wouldn't have known it. You just got all the big names going. It's this duck ashtray. Quackity quack. Again, a very mid-century piece on that one. Interesting shape. Let's jump back into some more antique glass. Gorgeous. And again, look through those look for the, the, the pass-throughs. These were reproduced. Typically, these would be fused shut. That's what you want to check check out for. Some this has a very faint green glow to it. Quite frankly, it's not gonna it ain't gonna show up on camera. But at least, again, it helps us date the piece. This just says, oh, it is, oh, it's pattern. I didn't realize it. Blackberry spray. See the blackberries up there? Or are they raw spires? Pretty, pretty. A little bit of a green glow. I don't, I think you guys are gonna, well, actually you can, oh, a little bit. Let me see if I can, no, no. Let's see if I can take it. You guys can, <laughs> it's very faint. Not all of the glass we got was blue. This is gorgeous. I think this is Mount Washington glass. Look at that. <gasps> Oh, isn't she gorgeous? That peach blow. Oof, with that silver crest. Oh, the feel of that satin smooth goodness. Nah, this one doesn't. Okay, so I got one of these. Richard got one of No, I better have another one. Richard. What are you talking about? Where's it at? These were key things. I don't see it in there. Wasn't it the mini? Yeah. I haven't found it. Hmm. Are these pedestal tables? Oh, there it is. You guys are going to get a reflection. So real mini. So these are silver plated. <laughs> table I know I had to duke it out for this one because it's a little bit more ornate Richard got one Richard has two that match but They're even more ornate <laughs> nah -uh. I don't know my beer is beveled and cut that's beveled <laughs> and then kind of had to I didn't have to duke it out as bad for this one, that's not a used diaper, it's a pee pad. <laughs> Here's the mini, oops, sorry. Oh, there's the dolls. Say hi, everybody. There's the peek behind, oh, look. Oh, let's take that off. We might be able to create to infinity and beyond. Nope. Where is it at? I can't get it. There it goes. How many? How many can you count? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> My maximum record time was reached. I have to delete stuff off of the phone. I'll be right back. And we're back. I had a lot of footage to delete off of there. Is this it? That's it. Oh, we have, we're just down to two final pieces. 
Unless you want to see what I got at the antique store today. Look at that basket weave. Ooh. You didn't think we were done with the blue, did ya? Is there any glow in that? No. No. And our last piece. Ooh, I think this is Mount Washington. I don't... There's a paper down there. Isn't that fun? Love it. So we did get a little bit of pink, mostly blue. Now I did stop at a local antique mall. We might as well just do it quick. I'm not packing for two seconds. Yeah, I'll just grab these. This is in two pieces though, so be careful. This is two pieces. Okay. Okay. I didn't do the best packing job because look at that brooch. With the Aurora Borealis on it. Isn't that lovely? Which way are you would you well I guess it's really the same. Oh, I think that's gorgeous. Definitely goes with our blue theme. That one kind of look at what this does. Woo! Look what that's doing on the camera. Can you see it? Oh. That's it's not crazy. what it does in real life. It's glows blue. It glows a brighter blue, yet I wish it did that. <laughs> did I ever show you that? What? Oh. <laughs> my veneers don't light up. The rest of my teeth do. <laughs> it's a look. Um, another beautiful brooch in blue with like a gold tone. Isn't that pretty? Sparkle sparkles. Some white glass. I love this. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. It's aggressive. Grr. This one is, yep, this one's got a glow to it. It just, that camera's lighting everything up. Bright purple. Look at that. Ooh, more blue. I love it. We got a case of the blues. It's a Fenton. Oh, this is a good one. I thought you might like that. Yeah? You don't? You're unimpressed? Mm. It's okay. Well, this one, it turns out, is LG. This is some old glass. It's LG Wright with a daisy and button pattern on it, but it's called the Nautilus. This thing was a major get. Um, there's only ever one other time that I had antique LG Wright glass, and it was a turtle dish. The shell comes off. I kind of regret selling him because I found him at a thrift store. Um, but this LG Wright amber, like, do you see there's just the slightest tilt, even in the, um, kind of like this jewel, the neck on it. Oh, I think this is an absolutely beautiful piece. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I did get some pink milk glass, because why not? It is Cambridge. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? How good for Easter with your other pastels. That's fabulous. Um, we did get a, another piece of milk glass. This will go great with your blues, pinks. But wait, I'm going to show you the base. It's an old piece. So do you see the floral pattern on there running around the perimeter? But wait till you see the lid. Look at, isn't that wonderful? Love that. That is a face. Beautiful. And then our last two pieces, they still, yeah, the mini. Yeah. Oh, I didn't show them this. Never mind. There's three pieces left. I did get some more pinked case. Look at that with that hobnail on there. Isn't that lovely? It's clear 
It's cased. Did I say cased? What did, no, I think I said cased. But clear pink and the white. Fabulous. And then our last two pieces are these hand painted art a deco. The tape. the tape. I was trying to get the tape oh. off the bottom, but it's still on there. The two miniature. Mi these are a pain to find. And they're just simply the reverse of one another. Now, the original like picture with the frame, they're both still in there. And then they just have the little easel on the back that you would pop out. So I got those also at the antique. So that's everything we got. Both auction or antique store. It wasn't a mall. It was a store. It was small. Um, but definitely had some good stuff. I'm looking around and I'm... I think we did good. Eight, nine. Turn the camera around. What? You can turn the camera around. Turn the camera. Oh, yeah. I could. I know. Y'all, you're just going to see the chaos of it all, though. Okay, here we go. A couple items down there, but check it out. All of that blue swung glass vase goodness. Everything that we got. That's my phone stand that you're seeing right there. And of course, don't forget, we got some of it from the antique store. The face is my little pen holder. Isn't that great? I'm really pleased. I really, really, truly am pleased. I just, we just got some beautiful things. Clearly the color palette definitely speaks to me. Look at that. Gorgeous blues, 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 blues. He agreed to say goodbye to everybody. So that is it, everything that we got from the auction house and the antique store. Um, I really enjoyed sharing that all with you guys. I think that we got some great things. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Um, again, like the last haul we did, we didn't leave anything behind, so let me know what you saw that, that just was your favorite. I'm hard pressed, but I think it might be the LG Wright or the Turn Templates. Maybe the Punch and Judy. How about you? My favorites. One of the eight. The collection of Blue Swan glasses. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You're playing it safe. That's what you're sticking with. Uh -huh. Alrighty guys, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. We definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. If you've made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, why not? It's for free and I would appreciate it. And until next time guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys. Goodbye.